Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a general collective reading, so please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. Yeah, a little frustration today. Um, YouTube isn't letting me change my titles once I get once I schedule it. So I guess I better make it good the first time. Uh, Seven of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, and Strength card. Choices, options, decisions. Which cup you going to pick, if any? I wouldn't with the Seven of Cups. I would wait because there's a fortune riding on it. All right? Have strength over your choices right now, viewer. It's really important. There's something on its way to you. And I see travel in your future. A choice to travel. Once this arrives. And justice and the hermit. This is the challenge. Oh. So this person is choosing to come towards you and give you a solid offer. Because perhaps they were fed some kind of illusion about you that wasn't true. Libra and Virgo energy. Ooh, somebody's stressing hard. They're losing sleep over the truth. So whoever this person was, they were told lies about you. You're, you're the nine of pentacles. You're like responsible on your own, living pretty decent life. And you moved on from whoever this person was who was stuck in an illusion. Could have been a few people, because I guess seven of cups here. So could have been quite a few people that were delusioned about who you was or what you was. And now nine, nine. That shit's about over. And somebody's really super stressing over your Nine of Pentacles. Because you're good on your own. You don't need them. You don't need anybody. Nine of Pentacles is good, is good on their own. Somebody painted you out to be something you wasn't here. Somebody who was very greedy. And you might have walked away. Because if you're in the Nine of Pentacles, going into the Knight of Pentacles, which is a new opportunity or, or a new source of money coming your way, you chose that over the illusion. Which was what these other, these other people fell for the illusion. But you moved away from the illusion. Which was whatever these people were painting. They was painting pictures. And it wasn't real. They thought it was real though. Like I explained in my other, uh, my other uh, reading on my other channel. Um, it's like an artist who claims they're an artist. But all they do is paint a bunch of letters together and stick them on a screen. On a on a backdrop and call it art just because they already had a name in society they got money for it but that wasn't true art it wasn't a true creation it was just bits and pieces of other other things taken and pasted together so but for real for real they can't create anything on their own that's an emperor empress in reverse because they codependent on other people's creativity to to uh, that's what they live on. That's that's how they create. Was off of other people's backs. Like slavery and shit. Immediate future. We have the Earth Angel. Earth Angel. And the Ace of Cups. King of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. Nice. So somebody's bringing you some good news. Because perhaps you stood in your unconditional love. And you balanced that out. And now some kind of an opportunity is presenting itself to you. 
king or queen of cups male or female oh so yeah five of pentacles this is the factor affecting the situation this person wanted you to feel left out in the cold broke lonely and maybe they did this on purpose because they were being told some kind of a lie about you this is virgo energy again play a play a playing in your energy making you feel like nothing but they aim for a rude awakening ace of swords it is what it is perhaps this person was being like said they were, they was being told some kind of lies by this queen of pentacles this person who might be a, a boss of some kind of oh yeah they got confused spirit spirit blocked us i mean it may have taken some time but whatever this was was blocked it was your work they tried to block your work try to keep you from getting to this nine of pentacles from the eight of pentacles try to keep you in the five of pentacles in a state of lack whoever this lover or gemini was that was they're now apologizing for that because they now see the truth the real real that whoever they was dealing with was was some kind of uh autistic thief And they betrayed an empress. That wasn't smart. King of Pentacles. Justice is being served, babies. On a silver platter. Because they betrayed an empress. They could have been betrayed by their own mother. That sounds like some Jerry Springer shit there. <clears throat> Somebody might be a Libra. Yeah. Hanged man in reverse. So somebody got themselves down from being stuck. And is now going after they want what they want because judgment has been passed on this four of wands. This could be a whole damn married couple, a whole family in a house that did this to one person. One person tried to get them stressed out about their money, about their life, about their livelihood. Maybe even about their home and they're watching to see if it worked it didn't work it didn't work because it was the truth and you were strong enough to pull yourself out of it could be Scorpio but somebody who wanted you to be done and they figured if they keep you in the nine of swords and the five of pentacles it'll happen but you kept going, you kept working, you kept your head down, you kept going. And that's what's bringing in all of this justice. What goes around comes around. Whoever, whoever betrayed somebody here is being betrayed now by their own actions. It, it, they don't even have to do anything. They don't, yeah. So this Knight of Pentacles is Seven of Cups and it's Three of Pentacles. Somebody's figuring this out. Somebody's figuring out that there was a whole bunch of illusions painted here. And it wasn't even real art. It was fake. All these choices and all these options was just an illusion. It was a mirage. So now, <laughs> the devil's manipulation is being judged. Somebody's obsessed with you, viewer. They're obsessed with judgment. Capricorn, Sagittarius energy. 
And this too shall pass. Spirit Cisco. Taurus energy. Yeah, so somebody found out probably through their higher self that this person was causing some kind of an ending in their life or trying really, really hard to do that. And Spirit enlightened you, viewer, and put you in the Queen of Swords energy so you weren't accepting anything but the truth. Taurus and Scorpio energy. You weren't accepting anything but the truth. And 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 like I said, I was going to change that other title to Death Before Dishonor. And I'm feeling that. I feel like this person has no choice but to come back around and give you what they should have given you to start with. Because they were they were led to believe that you were nothing, that you were, you were this seven of cups, you were an illusion, you were a joke. And they, and they, they ended up costing themselves their own blessing. Because they disregarded you. They might have even tried to end you on, on, on the um, advice of somebody who was really dark, a Scorpio. Now, a dark Scorpio is a little different than a, than a light, or a, a medial or, or a light Scorpio. A dark Scorpio will, will be the tower and the death card, all right? And I feel like whoever this person was led by, and it could be their own mother, was possibly a Scorpio or a Libra, or they are. They were fed a bunch of illusions about you, and they didn't make an offer that they should have made because of some influence here that they should never have listened to. Now you're going to get what's owed to you. Because you worked for it. You worked hard for it. Something you love. You could be a Sagittarius. And now we have Scorpio in reverse. They were very foolish to do this. You're going to get a brand new beginning. You've averted some kind of tower. Because you loved anyway. Even though all this stuff was being done to you, maybe behind the scenes, and, and, and I'll explain that in my other reading too, where, you know, you don't know who you're fighting. I mean, you listen into your intuition, so you probably do know who it is. But when they're techni more technically savvy than you are, they can mess with your own money. They can mess with your life behind the scenes, and I feel like that's what was going on here. And now you're you're getting to the facts, the truth, the ace of swords of why you were stuck, why you were hung up, why your brand new beginning was held up. Because somebody was behind the scenes stopping it. And you knew it. You knew it. That's high priestess energy. And this person was lied to about you. They were told that you were doing all kinds of nasties. And you weren't doing anything but, but yeah, loving yourself. In the immediate future, that is what's coming back around to you, viewer. Is you get to love yourself and heal. So, four swords in reverse. Tells me you're done resting. But there is still some anxiety that needs to be addressed here. Somebody might be losing sleep over your growth. Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, because they got back what they what they put in. Seven, eight, nine. 
This always comes back around. Whatever seeds you plant is what you will harvest. And I feel like you're the one on your own here, doing you, loving yourself, picking fruit from the trees and enjoying your life. While this person sits in the Four of Swords in reverse, which is kind of like the Three of Swords. Heartbreak, pain, because of what they did to your work, to whatever you were working on. But you kept your eyes down, you kept your head down, you kept going. Now, fairness is coming to you. But everything's always a choice. Maybe you want to travel. Maybe you just don't have enough money to travel right now. Well, there's a gift coming your way. Perhaps, you know, they did affect your money in some way, shape, or form. But they have to give it back. Five, six of pentacles. They have to give it back. And you're not accepting anybody's apologies or brand new beginnings. You're choosing to love yourself and block anything in the world that does not serve your highest good. You're walking away from them. You're like, uh, yeah, no. Um, you're getting what's owed to you here. One way or another, you're getting what's owed to you. I do feel like you already worked for it. It's already yours. You just had to wait because of what these people did. All, all this truth had to come out. And it is being exposed, but you're going to have to have strength and be able to move on from it. I know it's going to be a grr moment. It is definitely going to be a grr moment. You're going to be grr, mad. But have strength over that. And strength over your loins. Because something beautiful is on its way to you. And if it's not, you're on your way to it. Because you're leaving justice up to the divine. And having strength to pursue your heart's desire. Not going to say that it's that's going to happen overnight. But... Wait for what feels right and listen to your intuition because you'll know the way forward. Because it won't feel like an illusion. It won't feel like it's a lie. It'll feel like the truth. And it'll feel, you'll feel that deep inside. I'm feeling it deep. Like deep inside me right now. In my stomach. That you will know which way to go with this. Because you, you'll feel it. You'll know it by the way it feels. Justice is yours. Leo, Libra, energy. Like I said, something's coming in your immediate future that looks really, really sweet. I mean, temperance, the Ace of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, your immediate, your future's so bright that you gotta wear shades. And distant horizons. You go find out whoever this ex-lover was or whoever this person is. They had to let go of stealing from your job. Look. So you wasn't sure about this to start with. Fourth house. Adjudicated. They had to let go of your occupation and stealing from you and now you're finding out about everything I mean you might you might I'm seeing some kind of letter coming to you like like a like a legit letter like something that might have something to do with your business or or, or your work Maybe something you didn't get before, you're getting now. That is the justice. It's going to allow you to travel or, or move because uh, we have the hanged man in reverse and the six of swords upright. So that tells me there's, there's a significant move or something like or travel happening. 
And you're going to find out about this. And when you do, you're going to be mad. Somebody used the twin flame dynamic here as a, as a, as a joke or as a, as a weapon. A self-absorbed narc love bombing you. It was karmic. And you knew it. And that's, that's why you let go. You were like, yeah, no, thanks. Not today, Satan. You might still be mad at this person because of the impact narcissist paradigm they put you in, which is the twin flame journey. Unfortunately, this is, this is where it leads to. If you all don't learn how to balance this out in that temperance energy, it turns into this. third party interference because somebody wants what you have it's like it's like so instead of it being this 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 balance yin yang coupling each other and in union you have this third party here trying to interfere with the whole thing like I said could be a mother could be a karmic femme karmic masculine it's definitely a narcissist who tried to interfere with the whole twin flame thing and unfortunately, your person fell for it. And now they're reaping what they've sown. And you're moving away from that. You're moving on from that. No longer entertaining that kind of energy because it wasn't... It, everybody had a choice. Everybody had a choice. And unfortunately, your person chose wrong. They chose the narcissist. And now they might not be able to get out of it. Even though that I do feel like they're fighting and there's been some kind of avoiding a conversation. Somebody's avoiding another person here. Um, patience for your definitely six of cups. There's a healing going on. Double sixes again. Damn. So you could be born in 66 or, or life past six. You know there's a material harvest on the way because memories of love from the past. You know what you've done here. You know that you've stood in your ultimate truth and you waited. You were very, very patient. You might have even sacrificed your, your own happiness here for a while but you were very very patient and the third eye is awakened Accel accelerated motions to wishes fulfillment prosperity begins be careful because I feel like these people are still trying to disrupt your life in some way shape or form make sure that you're paying close attention and being patient don't jump just into anything here. Because, like I said, I don't think this person is done dealing with this narcissist. They may be one themselves. And, and, and you choosing to love yourself and balance out your energy, keep your head down, keep working, that is the right decision. Yeah, moon honoring phases. So this full moon in, in Libra is going to be huge. It's going to be where... All kinds of things are just, ta-da, boom, they're there. Respect where you are. Self-care and syncing with the cycles. Repeating patterns, awareness, what is the lesson? Break the cycle of your desire. Heart's true desire, gratitude, address inner blocks. So what, what is it that's keeping you held back? Is it another person? Or is it your own, you know, telling yourself, I can't do this. It's too hard. Because that is what karmic relationships are. And that's what this narcissist wants you to believe. That you're, that you're not enough. Spirit's here to tell you that you are. You've got what you need on you. I promise.
They tried to make, they're trying to make you believe that you ain't got it. You ain't got what it takes, whatever that means. You must forgive if you want to be free. Do it for yourself. Like I said, you're going to be upset about this. When you find out all the details about it, because this, this karmic mother or karmic femme or masculine, whoever this person was that caused all this problem, this narcissist, I'm not going to say you're not going to be mad because you're going to be mad. I mean, it's, be mad. It's okay to be mad. But find your balance in the madness or in, in the anger. Find the balance. Find the lesson. And don't keep repeating the same patterns with the same people over and over again. Because I do feel like that's what they're going to try to get you to do is repeat another cycle. Stop looking outside your answer, yourself for answers. You are already know them. I just said that. Find ways to lighten up and not to take everything so seriously. Like I said, get out of that. I feel like if you if you don't get out of out of um, you know being mad and taking over your own inner authority. And maybe even expressing that you're pissed off. If you're pissed off, you're pissed off. Hey, I'm pissed off. I'm going to be pissed off. And then I'm going to let it go because I got control over my emotions. And I'm raising my vibration. Alright? Do some meditating, viewer. If you don't know how to meditate, listen to some music and dance in your house. And just let that body move so you can shake up the energy in your body and, and raise your spirits. It's the way I handle things. I'm just giving you for instance. It's the way I handle things. Is I just dance. Turn on some music and dance. I want to dance with somebody. I want to feel the heat with somebody. Put, the, put that song on. It's really, it's really poppy got the cosmos the cosmos this is some creativity and vastness is what you love to do it's going to allow you to move forward with your life the cosmos is always an ally the universe is on your side with this one it says the cosmos appears that always is an ally and never is a challenger Creativity in all forms is represented by the cosmos. This is a sign to place your attention on creative projects that you love. They will be successful. Remember that all of life is creative and you're always co-creating with the divine. The cosmos also represents the principles of infinity and the vastness of the energetic exchange of conscious influencing all living things this teaches us that every intention we set is in fact contagious with the power to influence others we're entangled at our deepest energetic place so that we can't help but have an effect on others from an individual level to a global one this is a sign to remind you to open up to the well of creativity create creativity deep within you and be mindful of your thoughts and actions both are influencing your outer world. Most important, keep taking action towards your goals, and the cosmos responds perfectly to manifest your highest destiny. Expect to be inspired and to meaningfully touch others with all that you create. I couldn't think of a better way to end, and that, that was a great ending to this reading. All right, my babies, please remember to press the like button, subscribe, share, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.